Welcome back, folks. A live look at temperatures across the area on our Skywatch Weatherbug Network here in Columbia with the Gamecock backdrop. We are a little over 12 hours away from kickoff. It's actually 1 o'clock kickoff, so we're sitting uh, just under 14 hours now. Heathwood Hall at 40 degrees, 57 the high temperature. 40 is also the lowest it's been there today. Scanna and Batesburg, our Weatherbug site there. 41 degrees, 52 the high temperature. Of course, the Clemson backdrop as the Tigers are in action Friday night in the Orange Bowl. Pillion Middle School, 38 degrees right now, 58 was the high temperature. Most locations are seeing the coldest temperatures of the last uh, 24 hours currently happening. Ferry Chevrolet in Orangeburg at 43, 55 the high temperature there. And again, 43 also the lowest they have seen over the last 24 hours. Skywatch Sat Rad. Well, we do have some clouds to talk about, but we are not looking at any rainfall associated with it. We still have some of these mid and upper level clouds making for a partly to mostly cloudy sky. So overall, I'm going to expect a partly cloudy sky as we roll into midnight and into the early morning hours to start 2014. The bigger picture is showing you we're still getting some upper level moisture off the Gulf of Mexico, and that's basically bringing the clouds that we've been dealing with. But there's not enough moisture intact to support getting the greens and blues indicating the rainfall overhead. So we should see dry conditions tonight, and I do anticipate seeing dry conditions for the first day of 2014, but we'll start to get some changes as we go into tomorrow night and into the day on Thursday, courtesy of a little bit more moisture to work with thanks to this high pressure. We're going to start to see this shifting to the east and pushing over the Atlantic. So with that easterly wind flow that we get off the Atlantic, well, it helps to feed even more moisture overhead and we'll start to see, as you notice, a little bit of the green and blue pushing into the Palmetto State for slight chances of rain by tomorrow night. This is at 11 o'clock. We'll have about a 50% chance if you're along the coast tomorrow night, about a 20% chance that will gradually increase as we head towards the day on Thursday for the Midlands and then eventually into the upstate. Now, as far as what we can expect in about an hour and 40 minutes for now, or an hour and 39 minutes for now. Your New Year's Eve planner, 42 at midnight, a northeasterly wind at about 2 to 7, and I do expect it to be partly cloudy over downtown Columbia. As we head into the new year, 40 degrees at 9 a.m. We'll have a partly cloudy sky in 50 by noon, 3 o'clock at 56, and 55 degrees by 5 o'clock. And then, of course, at 1 o'clock, Wisconsin, Carolina, Capital One Bowl, of course, Corey Miller, Derek Phillips, they are down there covering it. 70 degrees at kick, not going to rule out some light showers. We'll probably hold in the 70s during the game. Upper 60s by the time post game is occurring and winds down there from the east northeast at 5 to 10. Then as we look ahead to Friday, Sun Life Stadium down in Miami. Ohio State, Clemson, that is an 830 kick, 65 degrees at kickoff under a mostly cloudy sky. They'll maybe have some rain earlier in the day. It'll be a little bit breezy as well, a northeast wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So all in all, not bad football weather down in the state of Florida. Here's that seven day forecast from 56 for the first day of 2014 to 52 and rainy potentially for the second day. Then this colder air mass arrives, Arctic air at that. We'll see temperatures in the 40s for Friday, Saturday, 50s returning Sunday, Monday and then another shot of cooler air by Tuesday of next week, but looking at some sunshine. So whether you are celebrating in downtown Columbia and Newberry, wherever, we should see dry weather, but make sure you've got a coat on tonight because it will be a little chilly. It could be worse, though. That's right. It will be worse on Friday, it looks like. 24 degrees for the overnight. Getting getting a little cold, but it is winter after all, so you've got to expect that. Okay, we'll give it that. All yeah. right. And it looks like they're going to get a little rain for the game tomorrow. Do you think that will affect the game, or is it not enough to really... It's not going to be, a, by any means, a wash out like okay. the Carolina game a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. up in Charlotte, but it will be uh, the potentials there to get some uh, dance spots on the field every now and then. Right. So makes it worth interesting. watching. Yep. All right. Thanks, Henry. You bet.